Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Hot off the presses from my dog and your best friend, Adrian Wojnarowski, man. Chris Paul, after 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 he's saying he's gonna opt out and become an unrestricted free agent, the Clippers have traded Chris Paul to the Rockets, and uh, this is what they've traded for. This is what we got. We got uh. It's for uh, Pat Beverly, uh, Decker, Lou Williams, and a 2018 uh, first rounder. I don't know if they did too much uh, for that because Chris Paul still has to agree to sign with the Rockets because obviously they had to do it today while they still own the rights to him because uh, free agency starts with the first. So if they do it anytime later than this, they don't own the rights to him. So obviously Chris Paul has to agree to sign with the uh the Rockets and obviously that, that must be somewhere that he wants to be because if he doesn't say that he wants to sign with them um you know then it's just not gonna happen so what they're probably gonna do here is just do a sign and trade now since they were gonna lose it for nothing so you'll probably hit it Chris sign Chris Paul resigned and then it, it, they trading us right so you know they get all the bird rights and all that good stuff anyway is this a good deal or a bad deal for the Rockets I mean James Harden had his he had his best year period I feel like, and uh, you know, it was because he was able to run the point guard in this system. We know that the that the system that the Rockets run uh, is like the is the Mike D'Antoni uh, system. So because that because of that, the point guard gets all the stats. Man, the point guard can damn near average a triple double if he can get rebounds. You're gonna average about you're gonna average at least ten assists. You're gonna get points. Uh, just like just see Steve Nash with his two MVP years. I mean, that's that's what happened. But how does this work for these guys? Will James Harden be will he, will he like? going back to playing off the ball because these are two ball dominant guys. Chris Paul does pass the ball, don't get me wrong, but James Harden is one of those guys. Like even when he was playing two guard, uh and, and he really was playing the shooting guard this year, really. But Pat Beverly playing the one, you know, it it just didn't matter because Pat Beverly is not an offensive point guard. He's a defensive point guard. He can hit wide open shots and you know he can get open and, and do things like that. But what we're saying is that he's probably in even last year when James Harden was the two, James Harden acted primarily as the one on the defense. So I don't know how this is really going to work. I mean, you got somebody that's going to be willing to get James Harden open, and Chris Paul may have an MVP caliber year. Will he have the numbers that that uh, James Harden had, or will this just be, or are they going to use him like a Pat Beverly that that can just, that, that can run the offense and play a little bit more, um, is a better a better weapon offensively. I don't know how they're going to use him, man. I mean, because if you're not going to use him and let him run the point and let the things run through him and let him be the floor general, you might as well have kept Pat Beverly, right? I mean, that's just the way I'm seeing it. I could be completely wrong. You guys let me know. How do you think they're going to use him? Is this a good deal for the Rockets? And uh, do you think that they gave up too much for Chris Paul? And, 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 and how long do you think he's going to sign? I mean, all that stuff, man. We don't know any of that right now. Like I said, he's probably going to sign a sign sign a, a a good deal. What four or five year deal? Whatever. He's probably going to sign the max with the Clippers. That he he's probably going to sign the max that he can sign with the Clippers and then trade that over there. So you know that's probably going to be a four or five six year deal. He's probably going to retire there. So uh, barring any other further trades, but who knows, man? Maybe he'll do what LeBron did and take the little three year deal that, that's become popular these days, or the two years with an option, and he'll do that. I don't know, but uh, either way. Is this anything to be excited about if you're the Rockets? It still doesn't get you over the hump, so, I mean, it is what it is. But, um, hey, it's news, and that's what we're here for. Please get a video a like, and make sure that you subscribe for more daily NBA content, man. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Somebody said something wrong with my damn hairline. Ain't nothing wrong with my damn hairline. I can't even get four... Four fingers up here. I ain't even got a four head. I got a three head, bitch. I'm, I'm joking. All right, I'm gone, folks.